Let's roll in. Hi, this is John from Synergy Age Travels. Welcome to the video. In early May of this year, I took a, a road trip and this is one of the places that I wanted to go see. This is Lake Meredith, it's a national recreation area. It's beautiful. You need to go see it if you're ever out that way. It's about 35, 40 miles uh, due north of Amarillo, so it's pretty easy to get to if, you get, if you're on traveling east-west on I-40, but it's a really beautiful place. This is, uh, the campsite is Sanford Yake camp, uh, Campground, and uh, I got the highest place. See that? There's the van up there. Sorry about the shaky video, but uh, I didn't use a gimbal, and I was excited to walk down to the next level with, and take Yuki, so I had to have a lee her on the leash and hold the camera and then try not to trip over the boulder and do the, the big tumble down <laughs> into the water. So. so I had the shaky footage and I said, well, I don't want to just not ever use it. So I, what I did was slowed it down a lot. You could tell it's still shaky, but I thought it was good enough where you could still see some of the beauty of the lake. Nice, huh? I only checked out two campgrounds while I was while I was here, and the first was Fritch Fortress, which is a similar type campground, but it was too small. It was a nice area, but too small, and it was all, all the places were taken. Uh, this one is San Sanford Yake, and it has plenty of spaces. I did another video and did an in-depth drive-through of the, the campground at the beginning and the end of the video, and so you can see what kind of spaces there are and what you have to deal with and where the restrooms are and stuff. So check that out after you watch this. Uh, the lake is huge. I mean, really huge. So it would take you a good two or three days to go explore the whole thing, you know, on both sides and all the different campgrounds. I think there's about 10 or 11 different camp areas. Some of them are just like boondocking with no with no services or no restrooms or anything, no water, but uh, I think this is one of the nicer places. Of course, the cons are it does get windy and uh, if it rains and you're up on that, that bluff up there, then you know you can get blown around if you have an RV or something. But, but I was there and it was pretty nice. It did rain a little bit at night, but overall it was a pretty good trip, I thought. A good sight too, really nice. And if you're watching this and you're from Oklahoma in your retirement age, there's some good news because Oklahoma and Texas has a reciprocal that if you're 65 or older, then you don't need a fishing license to fish in each other's state. So that's pretty handy also, isn't it? These are the rocks that me and Yuki were trying to walk down to. We didn't want to go any farther because there was still another uh, cliff to go down to before you got to the edge of the water. I think I show it right here. At the, yeah, here it is. But I'm going to end this video with uh, some still snapshot pictures and show you a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to end it and just wanted to say I appreciate you all for watching this. Appreciate all of you guys, man. You guys are great. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, okay? Bye-bye.